Herman officially has a complete town board again after four members resigned a little more than a month ago. 7 News reporter Sandy Torres was there for their first meeting. I did have one person question me. They're like, why would you even consider doing this? And my thought to that was, if, if somebody doesn't, what's going to happen? Will the county take over what's going on in our office? Will the state, you know, how, how could somebody not step up? Kathy Race is the new town of Herman supervisor. She and three other people were appointed at Tuesday night's meeting. This after four town lawmakers resigned a little more than a month ago, leaving the town with only one council member. The town's new deputy supervisor is Victoria Day. Frank Ashley and Harold Blandin are new council members. Constitution of the United States. After accepting their appointments, the new board turned to the mounting pile of town business needing to be addressed, like weeks of unpaid bills and payroll. All in favor? Aye. Ray says it's still unknown why the former members resigned. Because of that, she says the new board is taking precautionary steps, requesting an audit, changing locks at the town barn and offices, and deactivating all town debit and credit cards. We felt like that was just a smart way to start things, make sure that everything's okay. We are not accusing anybody of anything. Um, but we want to know that from here going forward that we're doing what we're supposed to do. Another item brought up at the meeting, the pay for the months of January and February for the former lawmakers. Let somebody know and you could have appointed somebody before instead of going through all this stuff. The board tabled it. I feel bad about whatever happened with the people that decided to resign, but I think we just need to move forward. Ray says this new board will get up to speed as soon as they can. The board is looking into the multi-million dollar water and sewer project and will have a public workshop to get caught up on the budget. Sandy Torres, 7 News.